want to make smarter decisions for your projects and calculate salary hikes more effectively? Today, I'll show you how to use Excel What If Analysis data table to do just that. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sati and I create content to help you use Microsoft Excel in both your personal and professional life. Today, we are exploring What If Analysis data table in Excel with practical examples in project management, cost analysis, and calculating salary hikes. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about what What If Analysis data table is. In Excel, What If Analysis is a powerful feature that allows you to change the values in your formulas to see how those changes will affect the outcome. It's incredibly useful for scenarios where you need to predict different outcomes based on varying inputs. Imagine you are managing a project and you want to understand how changes in resources and cost per hour will impact your total project budget. In this scenario, I have the duration hours that is 100 a fixed and resource cost per hour will be my first variable and number of resources will be my second variable. Let's calculate the total cost equals cost per hour times the number of resources times the duration. So now I have 42,000. Now let's assume we want to change the number of resources and the cost per hour. I have a data table here and we are going to use what if analysis data table to see how the outcomes are going to change based on the inputs. To do that, let's bring in the calculation over here. Select the data table and click on what if analysis data table and here it is very critical that you understand the row input cell and the column input cell. Row input cell, if your resources is on the rows 5, 6, 7, which is on the row number 2, then you select number of resources as the row input cell. And if the resources cost per hour is on the column, that's column H, then you would choose the column input cell as 70. Click OK and you will see the changes happening. And you could notice the 42,000 appears over here. Let's color it. And if you want to make any changes to the formatting, you could definitely do that. Now, let's switch gears to calculating salary hikes. Suppose you want to determine the impact of different increments on your new salary. I have my current salary here and the percentage of increase. Let's calculate the new salary. Equals current salary times one plus the increment percentage. And this is gonna give me the new salary, which is 56,000. Now I'm gonna see what if my salary changes from 12% to an 8% or 10%. We are gonna do the same thing equals bring in the formula there and select the range. Go to data, what if analysis, data table. And in this case, we do not have two variables. We have just one variable and the variable is on the column H, which means the variable is on the column. So my column input cell will be C12. Click OK and you will see the changes coming in. And if you also notice, the numbers do match. All right, so let's format it a little bit so that it looks pretty good. And if you also notice, this doesn't look good on the table. You could select these two and either press Ctrl 1 or right click and format cells choose num custom and then update it with semicolon three times and click OK. Bingo, it's gone. And then you have it. By using what if analysis data table in Excel, 
you can focus and plan more effectively for your projects and salary hikes if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like button also leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover thanks for watching and see you in the next video